Blog Talk Radio, the world's largest online radio network. Hello and welcome, 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 welcome to the Tribute Series. I am your host, Doug, and sorry, I had the speaker on right there, so I was hearing myself. Okay, uh, I am your host, Doug, and uh, my little Vixen co-host is with me tonight, uh, Pam. How are you doing tonight, Pam? I'm doing well, thank you. I uh, have to always move the phone away from my ear once that intro comes because it's so loud. Do you ever oh, notice I can that? Ha- well, it is. Well, that time it was loud because I turned it up to 100 percent, but I think I can uh, turn it down to like 70 percent or something like that. But that was oh, pretty, that, okay. that time it was pretty loud. Well, we want everybody dancing, yeah. and getting in the groove, and getting in the mood uh, <laughs> for, for tonight's guest. So uh, uh, he'll be with us in just a few moments. Oh, actually, no, never mind. Uh, I will just get right into it. We've got Justin on the line with us. What's up, Justin? Hey, how you doing? Oh, uh, we're doing good. Pam is with me. Hi, co-host. Justin. Pam, nice to meet you. You too. So how, how was you know your day today? Because <laughs> <laughs> numbers that come up, usually the guests are the numbers that blo- come up blocked, so it comes up like all ones, and that's usually our guest. So luckily it was you, or I would be, you know, calling somebody else Justin. <laughs> so where are you, uh, where have, are you guys out of? Uh, I'm in Indiana, and she's in Chicago. She's about four hours away from me. So we uh, okay. we do the show uh, five nights a week, uh, and uh, just the two of us. We started uh, actually the first show was the soap series, which is uh, dedicated to daytime, and then we decided to branch off after that got successful and uh, do the tribute series, which is prime time. And movies and bands and stuff too. So, as you see Great. with your mentions, we've been promoting your band, Bonnie Dune, a hell of a lot with the the, the new EP. So we're trying to get yes, your music I out there. Appreciate it. Thank you very mm-hmm. much, and thanks for having me on the show. No problem. We're very very thrilled. Um, first off, I, I am I'm, I'm embarrassed to ask my because I don't know how to pronounce your last name. You said it just a minute ago <laughs> when you called, and I didn't catch it, and I thought I had it down pat, but you said something different. So how do you say it? It's hard to say it. It's Wilchinski. Oh. Okay. That's yeah. not okay. so bad. I, that's not so bad. I was going Will Szynski, and I was like, that does not sound right. So I was on YouTube trying to find any interview where somebody introduced <laughs> you, and I have not found one. And I was I like, never I don't know. anybody. That's why. Oh, okay. So, and I, and yeah. I heard it different ways, and I was like, I'll just say, welcome, Justin. That's it. I don't want to embarrass myself. So, <laughs> anyway, so where, so uh, what's the what's the 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 name line come from? Where's the hereditary or? But I'm I'm Polish on my dad's side, so that's where the mm-hmm. name comes from. And my mom was adopted, so we don't really know what's going on with her side of the family. Oh, okay. But, um, well, yeah. we have something in common because my mom, I know who she is, but my dad was adopted, so I don't know where that side comes from either. Yep. And my dad was adopted, and so I don't wow. know anything on his side. So we're just a bunch of happies that don't know anything about our parents' heritage. Wow. Just make up good stuff, yeah. Yeah, that's, right. that's true. We we can just make it good for everybody. Um, I, I, I noticed you're a lefty. I saw right. Is that correct? No, I'm right-handed. Oh, well, I saw a video, and I thought you were right with your left hand. Maybe they had it on the reverse. I thought you were a lefty because I'm a lefty, and I was like, well, that's another thing we have in common. But forget that. <laughs> So, uh, so you said you're calling. Are you calling from the set today? Um, I was on set, and I'm back home now. And oh, okay. um, I actually wrapped yesterday, and I think most of the rest of the cast wraps today and tomorrow. Um, we pre-shot a lot of scenes with uh, James Franco for the last couple episodes, and that's oh, cool. uh, why why I wrapped early because we already filmed those scenes. Oh, okay, perfect. That had been an awesome experience to be able to work with James Franco. He's he's made himself a name for himself, that's for sure. Yeah, it was. He's a, he was a really nice guy. It was um, it was a little intimidating at first, you know, especially yeah. the first couple of days working with him. But then, after a while, you just started to realize like this guy is an actor just like all of us, and no reason yeah. to be intimidated. Um, but it was definitely fun working with him. Yeah, well, that's good. I'm anxious to see him come back to to Hollywood Heights. Me too. <laughs> um, so, gosh, how, how many more weeks do we have, or episodes? Well, I, I believe the show is going to be airing until October, they told me. So oh. you guys oh. got a while. We did 80 episodes. Oh, oh wow. great. Perfect. Yeah. Good. I, was, I was hoping it wasn't going to be like one of these, you know, two-month deals, and then where you got to wait until next year or something like that. So that's good. we got enough uh, Hollywood Heights drama to keep us busy until, until October. That's great. And it gets... It gets crazy. 
<laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I, can, I, can, I can start to see it, you know, as as we've yeah. each week going by, you know, now with Chloe's mom, on, you know, you and Chloe's mom, uh, that's what we're just now seeing now is that little uh, relationship stirring up. I mean, there's a lot of stuff coming up in the Fresno stuff is coming up right now, too, as well. So um, what perfect role to, to have, other, you know, to have Tyler? I mean, he is such a bad boy and you fit that perfect. You do such a great job at that. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's it's definitely really fun to play the bad guy. I've pretty much only ever played the bad guy, so it'd be nice to... Like, sometimes I'll watch Cody Longo, who plays Eddie, work, and I think mm-hmm. to myself, it would be so nice to have a normal scene where I'm not scheming or blackmailing or backstabbing somebody, just having <laughs> a normal conversation. But no, I don't have any of those. It's just, or imploding yourself. <laughs> Yeah, I know. So it's it's still it's fun though. It definitely uh, keeps you on your toes. Yeah, yeah. And um, let's see here. Uh, well, I I know Brittany Underwood from One Life to Live. Brittany. She's amazing. And yeah, I am just so happy for her that she got another role so quickly. And are you do you guys hang out or do you just yes, see each yeah. other on set? Yeah. Yeah, we we hang out definitely. She actually lives pretty close to me, um, so we hang out quite a bit. I mean, the workload's so heavy on the show. Um, mm-hmm. You know, a lot of times we don't get a lot of free time, but when we do get that day off here and there, it's we go big. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty fun. Um, do you know her friend Kristen, who's also on One Life? Um, Alderson. Uh, yeah. Kristen Alderson. Yes. Yeah. We yeah, and she's now on General people. Hospital. That's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah we're so uh, all we're all actually together. That's pretty neat. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's a small small community. <laughs> yeah, she's great, and she's she's visited set a couple times. Brittany's amazing, though. She's such a natural actor. Um, mm-hmm. It mm-hmm. looks so effortless for her, and she has uh, I, the, the heaviest workload of anybody. I mean, she's probably doing, I would say, thirty to forty pages of dialogue a day. And, wow. and you know where she she gets that from? From working a soap <laughs> opera. Exactly. So every day they have the, that amount of work to do, so she's ready mm-hmm. for prime time and film and everything. Yeah, the first couple of weeks of shooting Hollywood Heights, me and Melissa Ordway, who plays Chloe, were lost. We <laughs> we were having yeah. to watch Brittany, get as much advice from her as possible, and have her tell us every day it's going to be all right you guys are going to get the hang of it it's going to be okay mm-hmm. and, and uh we finally started getting the hang of it right when we wrapped <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> well you don't make it look hard i mean it seems like you know what you're doing and it's not your first series you've been in true but i, I guess i'm used to doing the amount of work we do in one day in a week and okay. um and that's kind of you know really how it, it is besides this type of format, the soap, you know, the soap daytime format, um, it moves at such a quick pace that, um, you know, if you don't know your material, you're, it's going to show for sure. Right. Yeah. Okay. And the the head writer there, Josh Griffin, you, it came from Young and the Restless, and we're, you know, we're big daytime fans, so he's a, he's phenomenal uh, as well, and I'm so glad and proud of that he's got this new baby uh, under his wing for us to enjoy and continue to enjoy. He's such a nice guy. Such a great guy. Yeah. All right. Here. Um, so, um, what, what our format usually is, we usually, you know, talk to the guests for about a half hour, and then you know, your fans get to call in and say hi, and get a chance to say hello, or thank you, or whatever they want to say uh, yeah, with them. Great. With them, uh, and and you've got Bonnie Dune fans, and you've got your uh, MTV series fans, because I've heard people talking about that, and sadly, I didn't. I didn't catch that. I usually watch all those those type of shows, and I didn't miss. I, I missed that. Um, is it? Do you know if it's available on DVD or online or somewhere? It's still available online, I believe. I know you can watch it on MTV.com, and the series was oh, called okay. Kaya. Yeah. Yeah. And, Actually, um, I watched the first episode today. Oh, okay, And I cool. saw that Corey was in there with you, and you're in a band. So that's about yeah. all I got to do, but it looked good. Yeah. How are you doing? Sorry, my neighbor. Okay. That's- do you guys know the actress uh, Saffron Barrow? Mm-hmm. That's my yeah. neighbor. I was just talking. Oh to wow! <laughs> oh wow! She's, 
Yeah, I, I used to live in L.A. from 04 to 08, and um, I lived in uh, Koreatown area in Silver Lake, and I just it'd be so cool just to walk around and just see everybody, and it was just it's just so it was awesome. But it's very expensive, so I couldn't stay. So I'm back home in Indiana taking care of my mom, and I hope to be back someday. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Um, sorry, sorry, I got off track there, but yeah, I'm, I'm glad you watched Kai. I, I was uh, that's actually how I met Corey. Um, we we filmed that in Vancouver, and we became pretty close on that set. That was a really fun set to be on because when you're playing a rock star every day, you start to feel like you are one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, uh, it, it was fun. Well, tell us something beautiful. about Bonnie Dune. I mean, are, are you guys going to come out with a new CD anytime soon, or? Yeah, we well, we released our EP called the least the lost EP, and that was um, older songs that we just finally were able to release because we were contracted with another production company, and so we were able to release that. We have a lot of new songs that we've already started recording, um, and we're going to finish the recording in August, and then hopefully release that sometime before the new year and do um, a lot of shows and. Unfortunately, because Corey's schedule is so crazy on Glee, we're not going to be able to do a proper tour, but mm-hmm. we will be doing one-offs, you know, all over the place. And we're going to definitely try to hit the East Coast this time because we we weren't able to and when Corey was available for the, the last time. We did um, a lot of shows on the West Coast. And, um, yeah, Don't forget so us in the middle. We won't. <laughs> yeah. We'll try not yeah. to. <laughs> yeah, if you if you at least go to Chicago, then I'll then I'll go up definitely so I can so I can uh, see you guys live because I've watched all the YouTube like concerts from the last couple of years and and uh, I've pretty much had your EP on re- you know repeat all week getting used to it and um, oh, I really enjoy it and uh, just, if it was okay I was gonna play after you hang up I'm gonna play some songs just to get people acclimated to it and go out to iTunes and support you guys too so I Thank picked you. a few songs to 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 yeah, get them all that. stir up for you and. Uh, I, listening to the lyrics, there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff about water, beach, sailing. Uh, there is a nautical theme that was yeah. happening. Um, yeah, yeah. How's that? How'd that work out? I mean, how did it know, come it, about? It wasn't planned. It, it wasn't. It just ended up being a coincidence. Um, I actually grew up pretty much right on a lake, and uh, which is ironic because most of the songs are about the about the sea <laughs> and the ocean and the beach, but. Um, when I first started writing for Body, Bonnie Dune, um, because I've, I've been in bands forever, but never as the singer song main singer-songwriter, um, mm-hmm. I was staying a lot with my friends in Newport Beach, and they had a house right on the beach there. And um, a lot of those lyrics kind of came from that time, um, you know, a couple years ago when I was out there. And uh, it... I guess it rubbed off on me, which is funny because I won't even go in the ocean, honestly. I It freaks me out. <laughs> but oh, I love wow. being at the beach. And uh, But, um, yeah, it, it wasn't something that was planned at all. It just happened to be that way. The newer songs are definitely not are not like that. They're not. Yeah. There's really no theme to it except for... Actually, you know what? There is a lyric. <laughs> there is a lyric <laughs> about... Um, Stealing the salt from the sea, actually, oh, in a new song. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah so but other than that, other than that one <laughs> one line, um, it's 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 going to be different. So it's a little more rockin'. Yeah. And um and fun and a little bit more fun for you know kids to come out and watch us play when we're playing more of a energetic upbeat set. Yeah. And uh, and and how amazing it is that two. Two people from Bunny Dune are in two huge successful shows. I mean, you know, we got Corey who plays Finn Hudson on Glee, which is going into the fourth season, and you guys have just wrapped your first uh, season uh, of Hollywood High. Right. That's, you got to be. I'm sure they're proud of each other, and your bandmates are probably proud as well. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, I wouldn't say Hollywood Heights is anywhere near Glee, but um, but thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think so. I think so. I mean, you. <laughs> We do an eighty episodes. That's that's a lot. That's like four seasons or something, or I'm sure or three seasons or something like that. That's that's a lot of f- footage within a short amount of time. Yeah, it really is. Um, it, it went by quick, though. You know, I think I think it took us about three months, maybe a little a little more than three months. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah, Corey and I have always been big supporters of each other, and, and um, 
when I when I found out I got it, he was really excited for me, and uh, we're always kind of rooting for each other. And I'm excited to see what happens when he actually gets done with Glee, because yeah. he'll always. I mean, even before Glee, he was never not working, and yeah. people. We kind of forget that they're like, oh, he came out of nowhere, but he didn't. <laughs> yeah, Since I've yeah. known him, he's never stopped working, and he'll be one of those guys that'll always be working. Um, yeah, he is. He is mad talented in, in every aspect. Mm-hmm. So you said he. Now, was when you were growing up, did you want to be in acting since you were little, or a singer? No, not not really. I honestly, I growing up, I I never. You know those kids are always like, I want to be this when I grow up, and and that and that. I I was I never knew. I when people would ask me, I would just tell them I have no idea, and um, it was kind of just something I thought I'd just figure out. Like I would just have to get out and see the world a little bit, and hopefully I'd figure out what I wanted to do. But when I started playing music, that's that's kind of what I wanted to do in that aspect. I didn't know if I was going to be in a band or if I was going to record or get in the music industry somehow but um when i moved to la that's kind of why i moved to la was to pursue pursue music on every front um i remember coming to la in the first week just going to different record labels and just walking in and just seeing if they had any job that i could do uh like a mailroom job even at night right and nobody was hiring nobody even cared and um <laughs> And I was playing in a band at the time called Twice Before, and um, I was drumming for that band, actually. And we were doing really well, um, especially on the West Coast for an indie band. We had a pretty big following, and um, we were touring with bands like Juliana Theory and a band called Sugar Cold. At the, and at the time, those were bigger indie bands. <clears throat> and, um, you know, we were doing showcases for different labels, and we had interest, and then we did... We got a production deal, and and then you know every cliche followed after that. You know, mm-hmm. egos got the best of us, and oh, no. um, we kind of all went our separate ways. And uh, and then I stayed in L.A. and um, just randomly started meeting people in the business that were modeling and doing commercials and and acting. And um, I kind of just fell into it, to be honest. And I don't I don't know if you've heard this story before, but um, one of the first things I ever booked theatrically was a target campaign and I huh. randomly went with my actor buddy to an audition that he was having and they asked me if I wanted to audition and I said no <laughs> that was just with my <laughs> buddy and they're like yeah just come on in like who cares you know um, you never know what's going to happen and I ended up booking it and it ended up being a, a three commercial deal and print and I had no idea at the time how much money you can make in this business and it blew my mind like wow, yeah. you can make this much money just acting like a fool. Um, <laughs> that sounds pretty good to me. Um, <laughs> and I, I really, honestly, feel blessed and lucky because I have not had a normal job since then, and that was six years ago. Wow, that's great. Yeah. How have did you, you meet, taken uh, any acting classes? <laughs> you know, for since you started doing this, then. Yeah, I did. When I when I started taking it more seriously, um, I did this film called Dependency. It was like the first film I actually ever did. And after I did the film, I thought, okay, this is something that I could really see myself doing. I've never had so much fun working on something before. And um, that's when I really got into it. I, I was doing every acting class I could take um, until I found an acting coach um, that I liked or a class that I liked. And so probably for two years straight, I was doing classes um, all the time, like as many classes mm-hmm. I could I could handle, and um, at the same time doing commercials. Um, that was paying all my bills and, and modeling a little bit as well. Nothing cool. <laughs> Just so you, know, you didn't random. have to sleep in your car like some people do and work at the local restaurants. I wish I had those stories, but I I, <laughs> I did it. I honestly just you know every time I thought about. Every time I got tight when I thought I needed to find a real job or, um, you know, whatever it was, uh, I ended up booking a commercial or uh, a TV show or a, a print job that would buy me some more time. And then as the years went on, I just kept getting busier and busier and saving more money and saving more money. And, um, yeah, and I'm here today now. So how did, how did you come across, the, you know, the other band members, Seth and Josh and Jacob? 
Um, Seth and I grew up in the same uh, town, same same area, and um, mm-hmm. the dr- band I was drumming for and the band that he used to be in um, were probably the two bigger bands on the Central Coast, like Central California, and um, we always knew of each other and knew each other. We, I guess we kind of had this band rivalry, which is, I think happens with younger bands now, but now I'm like, I can care less, you know, if a band's doing well, I'm like, good for them, you know. But, um, so it was kind of this thing where, you know, he was like the cool guy in the band and I'm I'm like, I I didn't like him. And and then as soon as we met, I was like, oh, that guy's a really nice guy and he's super talented. (laughs) Um, we became pretty good friends after that and just came and, you know, got in touch. And then when I got done with, uh, shooting Kaya with Corey and we moved out to LA or he moved, we moved back to LA, um, probably about the time he booked Glee, um, right after he booked the pilot, he had been hounding me for a year to start a band with him. And honestly, I was so busy working commercially um, that I just didn't have time to do it. And uh, it was all him. He he just kept hounding me and hounding me and hounding me. He's like, we got to do this. we got to start a band. we got to do this. we got to start a band. Why not? Why not? Why not? Um, because the whole time I've been recording with my... Um, close friend who I write a lot of my songs with. His name's Jason Massey. And um, so we had a huge collection of songs that we could have started a band with. And so finally, we're like, okay, let's get a band together. And started with me and Corey. And then I asked Seth if he wanted to do it because he's great and uh, and we get along really well. And I honestly didn't think that he would because he has his own band as well. And he was like, well, let's jam and see how it goes. And then after the first time we got together and played, we we knew that he was going to be our guitarist. And then Josh, our bass player, the studio bass player, he's played for everybody. Um, I've just known him being in L.A. And um, he was the, probably he was the first person I called besides, um, yeah, before before Seth even. And he was he didn't even hesitate. He's like, I'm in for sure. I love your music. So um, he's amazing. He's great. And then Jacob Wick was also someone I knew from growing up and had been playing with Seth for a while. And he's just, he's one of those guys that could probably play every instrument in our band better than we can. <laughs> we, uh-huh. uh, we, call, we call him the golden child. And <laughs> yeah. um, he just kind of fills in anything that's missing. That's kind of his job, you know. So yeah. we'll write a song pretty bare bones. And uh, and then we'll have Jacob come in and last, you know, he's, he's the last person to hear the song usually, and he'll just kind of come in with keys or guitar or whatever it is that is missing that makes it right. Well, and, he sounds um, like he's a real a big, important part of your band. He is. And, um, you know, he's, he's not always available, and I don't know what's going to happen when we start playing again. Um, my buddy Jason might join the band and might switch off between him and Seth and him and Jacob, but it'll always be the same core of guys um, mm-hmm. playing with us. And um, if we ever did, which I hope to do a proper tour soon or in the next year, um, uh, it'll definitely be that those group of guys for sure. Well, you yeah. guys have a great sound, and I can see you going far with it. Thanks. I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, well, uh, we'll see what happens. I mean, I, for, you know, if, even if nothing happens, it's still fun, and um, we still have some fans out there that'll always enjoy it. Hopefully, so that's what it's about. You know, writing some music that you love and you ha- and you have such a great time playing, and then, you know, if people like it, they like it. And if they don't, then hey, we still have a good time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, one of your Twitter fans, uh, Bonnie Babes. Uh, just tweeted and said, Kaya is $10 on iTunes. <laughs> so everybody that wants to see him, you can go to iTunes and download the, the, the season. Thanks, guys. They know more than me. <laughs> yeah. I feel like an idiot. I also Thanks. noticed that when we started tweeting about you coming on the show that I would say probably a good 95% of the people that tweeted back, it was all about Bonnie Dune, and there was hardly anything about Hollywood Heights. And I, I'm thinking it's only because it's such a new show. Well, that's nice. You know, honestly, too, I'm I'm really bad about promoting stuff that I'm in. Um, I 
honestly have to have friends post pictures on Facebook for me because I have no idea how to do it. Um, <laughs> so when I first booked the show, I had recently just got a Twitter account, and I was having people from the show help me like tweet about the show because I have no idea <laughs> how to do that. Like I still mess up things. I just found out what a hashtag was the other day. I didn't oh, really? know what that was for. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I I'm pretty bad about um, promoting stuff that I'm in, and I I also felt weird using the band account um, to promote my own personal thing. And mm-hmm. I mean, obviously, it's not like Corey needs to promote Glee, but it's we've always decided to just keep our our band. Facebook and emails and and all that stuff oh, okay. about about the band. Yeah. 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 That makes sense. I mean because yeah. that's where I think sometimes the problems will start if you you're using it for everything and you're like, "Hey, you know, that's for me." No, that's for me. You know, that kind exactly. of thing. Exactly. So, exactly. Yeah, we all have that. our own personal accounts and and our own our own projects that we're doing, but I, I feel like it gives it more credibility. It's just just mm-hmm. about the band and you're not diluting it with something else. Um, Right. And you're not promoting other things or other products or other bands. It's just, it's about you. Um, And we don't, we don't tweet that much. We don't write that much. But when we do, it's, it's, it's meaningful. And and it's something that, you know, I I think is more, you know, there's a lot of bands that I was following on Twitter that I had to unfollow because they're tweeting a hundred things a day. And that's just annoying, I think. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, oh, it, especially if it's the same stuff over and over, because yeah. I've seen that before. I think they go on like an auto tweet thing, and I've noticed that with some things too. Yeah. Um, so, uh, back to to Hollywood Heights. You know, I know mm-hmm. you guys are already done. You know what's all going to happen. But as far as mm-hmm. where we're at right now, do you? Uh, so, do you think that? That that your character really thinks that Chloe is the one that is you know is there any chance that you think that maybe somebody else could be the one or you really think that uh, your heart is with uh, or with your character's heart is with Chloe? Well, the way I interpreted it and the way I got through a lot of things um, as an actor was was believing that I was really in love with her, and so yeah. I do I I do think Tyler Work is very madly in love with her and the only girl that knows how to press his buttons and get to him and probably the only girl that he's ever loved and maybe even his first love um Mm. he'll find out more about our history as it goes on Mm -hmm. but it goes back a lot further than than you think um well we do know that you like to blackmail her so (laughs) (laughs) he gets pretty desperate he does whatever he can to hold on to her that's for sure yeah and, and last night's scenes were when you, we finally found out that she was driving the car that um, crashed into Eddie's parents' car. So <laughs> that's, that's where a, we're that's at. A big one. We were just telling her, yeah, yep. that was the big one. <laughs> I remember when I when I read that in the script, I was like, oh no, <laughs> it was so crazy. Because they don't. When you first start this, they. I mean, technically, they have a rough outline, but they don't know exactly where things are going to go and 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 all the facts and what, what's going to happen. So I I knew for a long time coming that there was something, some some other big secret that I had on Chloe, um, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, that's that's it. <laughs> that's a big one. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't get heavier than that. I know. Later on tonight, we'll have to watch it to see what happens after you spilled your gut store. <laughs> that should be good. Yeah, that's that's gonna be tough, you know, when it is over, because uh, you know we're used to you now every single night. You know, luckily we have a few months to go, but we're gonna go through withdrawals there at the end. Now, is this a series or is this just like a telenova type, or or is you know, will, do we know there, anything there, in the future? We won't know officially if we're gonna do a second season or not for a bit. Um, we do know that the ratings are, are doing really well, and mm-hmm. we know that um, the show got distributed um, in a lot of foreign markets, which is really, really good. Um, that oh, also helps the chances of the second season. But it's going to be one of those things where they're going to have to see how it does in other places and markets before they can officially do a second season. And um, okay. if they did do a second season, not all of us would be back. Um, yeah. There'd be there'd be a lot of new people, 
and because you'll you'll see towards the end, there's a lot of twists and turns, and certain characters have big open storylines, and mm-hmm. certain characters don't. Yeah. And, um, okay. And you know, yeah, I think you guys are going to be surprised. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We are. We are excited. A surprise to me. <laughs> Yeah. Really? And Mel- oh, Melissa, does such a, Melissa does such a great job as, as Chloe. She's She really has got that part down pat. She must be a lot of fun to work with, you know, opposite of. She is. She's my best friend on the show. I've known Melissa for a while. Um, when I first moved to L.A., we actually did a modeling job together, and it was the first time I met her, and we stayed in touch ever, ever since then. And um, she's so fun to work with. She just has such a great energy, and she's super talented, and she's really smart and it's 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 funny because everyone on the cast and i know this is it feels like i'm just saying it but if if i i wouldn't lie everyone is really cool and really great to work with and i was kind of hoping that there would be some drama you know there would be someone on in the in the cast that nobody liked and or people hooking up with other people and there's nothing there's no <laughs> there's no drama no all, soap within the soap, huh? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Everyone just was cool and fun and had a great time, which is great, but it's still fun sometimes to have a little little extra gossip, you know? Yeah. Well, what you're going to have to do is pull some of Tyler's personality into your own, and maybe you can get your own going. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't. I can't be the one that starts it. No. <laughs> How about the one that ends it? I don't know. <laughs> Get in the middle yeah, somewhere. Maybe, maybe yeah. a second season. I'll cause some drama. Yeah, sounds good. Uh, Jama, who plays Nora, has got to be the nicest mother of history of television. I know, she right? She is so I, nice. Yeah, I want <laughs> to believe that there are mother and daughter relationships like that because that's amazing, right? Yeah, yeah. Almost, yeah. It's good to be true. Yeah, yeah. It's I mean, funny because hope- my. <laughs> Uh, Adri- the girl who plays Adriana and and uh, and Don, the, their their relationship was very similar to my sister, my sister and my mom's relationship growing up. And mm-hmm. I think it's not it's not an exact. I feel like people are like, oh, no one's that mean to each other, but that's not exaggeration. Like I've seen that a lot, and not just in my family either. Yeah. Um, but is your I sister was, a teenager right now? She was. Uh, no, she oh, okay. she is younger than me. But yeah, growing up when we were when we lived at home growing up in high school, my sister and my mom had had that relationship that Don and Adriana had where they couldn't mm-hmm. couldn't have a normal conversation. They were just constantly yelling at each other. But um, cuz I can I can understand that. I have four children of my own and one daughter. Um and we always got along. We were best friends until she became a teenager and then I just wanted to smack her upside her head every day. So, I can understand that. Yeah. yeah. I have to say, my I think the meanest person in the show would be. Um, oh my God, I'm blanking on her character name. Uh, her, her her name's Meredith. Crap. Um, Lisa. 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 Thank you. Yeah. Lisa yeah. is the worst. <laughs> she's the <laughs> worst. It's funny because she's such a nice person in real life, and every time I watch the show, she's like, Oh, Lisa, I hate her. Yeah. She's she's not a very she's very mean. She, she's not very nice to her daughter. She's very overprotective and just. Yeah, but yet she lets the, she lets Phil yeah, get away with you know murder. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, not well murder, you're gonna find out. Phil. You're gonna find out why she's so mean soon. Oh, that's good. Oh, good. There's yeah. a there's yeah, a twist and turn in there. Yeah. yeah. There's got to be a reason <laughs> for that much negativity built up. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Let's see here. So um, if you could if you could choose any actor in the world to do a movie with, who would you choose? Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Um <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh let's see. In what sense as a co-star or as a romantic uh Either or. Friend? Either or. Okay. Well, I have to say um probably one of my all-time favorite actors is is Tom Hanks. Um, mm, definitely. And and he would definitely be someone that I'd really like to work with. Um but I mean there's so many great actors out there that I could yeah. I could I could just keep listing off names, but um yeah, he's always been someone that I looked up to growing up. Um, cuz he can do everything. 
and I, I love that about actors that can do comedy and drama. And uh, I mean, you could say that. I mean, same thing about Jim Carrey. Uh, right. That's an, that's another person that I would love to work with. Um, and then there's like the older actors that I've always appreciated. Like Al Pacino is probably one of my all-time favorites, um, mm-hmm. especially early Pacino. Um, but I, yeah, I mean, I guess I'd have to choose Tom Hanks because yeah. some of my favorite movies are movies that he's in, and I, would, I he's consistently in probably like my top twenty movies. So. Yeah. Mine too, mine too. I love him. I love. I just watched Joe versus the volcano the other day, and I'll have to tell you that's one of my ultimate favorites by him. I know it's, it's so not good. a real popular one, but I love I that know. one. Yeah, it's really good. Big is probably one of my all-time favorite movies. Oh um, yeah, yeah. That that movie never gets old. Um, mm-hmm. And same thing with um, Forrest Gump. I mean, people can watch that now, and it's still amazing. I have. And people uh, walk around saying the lines from it, too. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a great one. Um, on Twitter, Katrina Catkit, oh, it's backwards instead of Kit Kat, it's Cat Kit. She says, uh, uh, Justin, do, do you want to sing on the show? Since you're, you know, since you're a singer in real life, do you, do you think do you would like to incorporate that into there, or do you want to just stay with the, the image that you're, that you're already doing? Yeah, part of the reason why I was excited about taking the part, because it was a musical show, was that, Excuse me, my character didn't doesn't have any um singing storylines. And um, yeah. I I just I'd like to keep it uh, separate, you know, and I yeah. I kind of feel like if I was, you know, playing Eddie Duran, my music wouldn't be able to to be taken as seriously because people That's are know you're you're known as this fictitious singer type of deal. Yeah. Um and maybe down the line if my my band were ever to be well known enough to overshadow a character like that, then I then I would like to do it. But I mean, I'm definitely not going to turn down, you know, a part on a show just because of that. But yeah, I had to choose. I, I'd rather just stick to the acting. Yeah, and then stick to my own music. Yeah, that's perfect. Uh, Pam, did you you had some uh, Twitter questions before we take calls? Actually, he answered them without oh. me asking. So. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully well, there you go, they're Twitter people. And knowing yeah, that <laughs> he answered them. Yeah. Well, if you're listening in, the number to call in, uh, we'll be taking calls until um, the next 25 minutes, until the show's up, and then we're going to play some songs from Bunny Doon after he's gone to uh, let, get, give you a little taste of the EP that's available on iTunes. The number to call in is 347-215-9503 and press 1 so it shows up for you to talk to us. So first, we will just uh, start taking some calls here. Uh, they all came on after we went live, so I didn't get their names. So 424, go ahead. You okay? Yeah, it's you. Okay? Hello? Four, area code 424. Oh, she hung up. Okay. She probably got so excited she hung up. All right, <laughs> definitely call good. back. That's a good start. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's, that's a good start. Call back, 424. All right, 331, are you there? Yeah. All right, perfect. Right Go ahead. You're on with you're on with Justin. Hi, Justin. Hi. What's your name? Um, my name's Brittany. Hey, Brittany. Hi. I uh, I asked you on Twitter the other day if you were going to have a scene with Brittany. I was just wondering when that might premiere. Say, I'm sorry. Say it again. I asked you on Twitter when uh, you would have a scene. Uh oh. Are you cut? Is she cutting out? Are you there? Hello? Oh, my gosh. Well, she asked that, she okay. said that on Twitter, she asked you the other day uh-huh. um, when you were going to have a scene with Brittany and if when it would air. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Um, sorry, the Brittany and Brittany thing confused me. Okay. Um, we do have a scene together, and I'm pretty sure it's towards the later end of the season. And um, all I can say is I'm very, very mean to her. <laughs> Uh-oh. Um, yeah, and you guys are not going to like it. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Great. But we were so Here comes excited. The, the whole season, we were like, oh, we got to have a scene together. There's got, there's got to be a scene together. And then, sure enough, we get the script the week before, 
And I, I remember calling her, and I'm like, I'm so sorry for what I'm about to say to you. <laughs> but, um, yeah, they, um, they, they, uh, they, they did not hold back. That's for wow. sure on the writing. Wow. I'm ready to see some of that drama. Are you still with yeah. us, Brittany? Hello? Are you still with us? Yes, I am. Okay, oh, okay. okay, good. Then you heard oh, him good. answer your question, yes, right? Yes, I heard Okay, yeah. Don't hate me after. I, I'm i not kind of shit. Is that fine? Oh, she's cutting it out. Sorry, Hello? Brittany. I can oh. barely hear you. Sorry, Brittany. Try to call back if you can. Everybody must be having storms or something. Oh, 424 is back. Let's see if we've got them on the line. 424, oh, wow. yet. Four. Wow. Yep, that's you. Calm down. I'm sorry I hung up on you because my friend's an idiot and hung up because she got nervous. Okay, oh, no. she's all mental. Um, okay, um, okay, what did I ask? Okay, okay. So, is like Melissa or like Chloe Carter actually mean in real life? Do they actually what in real life? Is she mean? No. Or is she really she is, nice? She is the sweetest person in the world, and I'm not just saying that. If she was mean, I would tell you. Okay. You don't understand how excited I am. I'm, like, running around. I'm like, I'm running around the mall right now because I'm at Starbucks, and I'm shaking, but I'm really Okay, what, what did you want to ask? What do you want to ask? Oh, yeah, we're on Twitter, and my friend tried telling you she was the one that said the Eddie Duran thing. Well, you didn't respond, but that's okay because you're famous. <laughs> what was the What was the Adriana thing? No, no. Um, she was like, she was like, if you say hi to me, then it'll be like when Eddie touched Lauren's hand. Or, uh, oh, I, I read that. I read that. You, you read that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we had to sleep on our ass, but I also tried sending. Um, Jama Williamson, like, you know, mm -hmm. Nora Tate. I tried signing her something, and she was responding to everyone, but she didn't respond to me. And I was oh. kind of sad. <laughs> but, oh, my I gosh. I would tell her. I would tell her to respond. What's your, what's your guys' Twitter oh, name? I really like to stop. What? What's my name? Twitter what's your Twitter name? Yeah, what's your name? And my Twitter name is Lexi Bacos. And mine is Allison X Unicorn. And Allison, I mean, my friend is Allison X Unicorn. <laughs> okay, I'll try to remember that. There we oh, you're go. The best. Oh my gosh, I'm talking to you right now. Okay. <laughs> thanks for calling in. <laughs> yeah, okay. thanks for calling in. Okay. Thank you. Have a, have okay. a great night. Bye. I love you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> that is, uh, I bet you get. Do you get that I there when you're that. walking around town? No, I them? mean, you know, we're, the only time any, anyone ever comes up to me is at the grocery store for some reason. It's the only time. Yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Something about the grocery store that's safe, I guess, and and more approachable. I don't know what it is. I remember when I first moved to L.A., I was at Ralph's, and I looked down. The, I was going down the bread aisle, and there was uh, Joey Lawrence from Blossom. And I was just thinking, <laughs> he he buys bread just like I do. I mean, it, that kind of yeah. you got to get that mentality in there that you know he's he's just another you know another guy. You know, just he's on TV. So I got used to. It. I mean, but I'd still get starstruck because you know I see a lot of. A lot of people um, living in that area, and it's just it's you just never know where who you're going to see and where you're going to be at when you see them. I worked at Starbucks uh, on uh, in West Hollywood, right across from the uh, 24-hour fitness, and I saw everybody when I was working there. And it was it was it's definitely something that if you can afford to live there, it's definitely worth worth it if you're a, in 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 lo a love of the entertainment business. That's for sure. Um, I had a yeah. I had a friend. I got to tell you about my celebrity starstruck story recently. I had a friend who was dating. Um, started dating this guy and she said would you come out with me with, with this guy that I'm dating because I, I don't have a lot of things in common with him and I feel like you guys would have a lot of things in common and it, it would just like help me get to know him better and because she was kind of nervous about it I was like oh okay that's, that's, I'll do that and she's like his name's Ryan and he's an actor and and um so just come out with us so I, I met out I met I met him out and um she she met me um, at the club, and we we go in together, and she's like, "Okay, there he is, and he's he's coming over," and it was Ryan Gosling, and oh my God. Uh, he comes up to me and he's like, "Hey, you're Justin, right? It's really great to meet you." And I'm not going to mention my friend's name, but she told me a lot about you. Um, so you're acting, right? 
And for someone like that to ask you about your acting, you, it makes yeah. you feel so small <laughs> because <laughs> in comparison to his career and what he does, because I respect him a lot and yeah. uh, I really like what he does, it was, uh, it was mortifying. But he ended up being the nicest guy ever, and we hung out yeah. all night. And, um, yeah, he was super cool, and I ended up running into him a couple months after that, and he remembered my name, and we talked for a little bit and catch up, caught up, and it, that was pretty funny because I did wow. not expect that. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 great, and he yeah he is mad talented. I mean, he just wow. Ever since the Notebook, he has just just you know he's amazing. Took off. Yeah, you can't do any wrong. Yeah, uh, another one just like that is uh, Channing Tatum. You know, he's now everywhere, and he, you know he came out of nowhere, he and now he's yeah. he is literally everywhere. And if you see Magic Mike, you see a lot more of him than you would in any other film. That's just a random thought. <laughs> <time. laughs> <'Cause laughs> yeah, we had one I, I missed that one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Up next is area code 659. Go ahead. Hello. Hi. Uh, my name is Ophelia. I'm calling from Singapore. Hi. Oh. oh. Wow. Welcome. Yes. Uh, I just want to say that you have a listener in Singapore, but um, Justin show Hollywood Heights is not shown here, so it's a pity oh. because we don't we don't we have Hollywood shows here, but um, it's a free channel, so that's not much of a Hollywood show. But it's it's like we we do get a fair share of the shows that you know the world can watch, like Ellen DeGeneres, uh, Oprah Winfrey shows, that kind of thing. Can you watch it online? Uh, I can't because I try to access Hulu. They say that I'm outside the United States. That's why I cannot watch it. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Hopefully it will come there soon. I know that the show has been sold to a lot of foreign markets, so hopefully it will play in Singapore soon. Um, but uh, I appreciate you giving me the heads up. Yes, thank you very much. Take care. Okay, well, bye-bye. Wh- okay, bye. bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you for calling from Singapore. That's awesome. Yeah, it is. Uh, wow. Yeah, we, we we get surprised sometimes. We had uh, New Zealand, Australia, Sweden, uh, you know, different shows France. that we've had. And France, yeah. So, I mean, it's really cool how our show that we're building is getting, you know, world, getting known worldwide. So that's great. Uh, let's see here. Area code 480. You're on with Justin. Go ahead. Hello. Hello, four eight zero. I think people. Hello. Are just, yeah, you're there. Yeah, there you are. Did yeah. you want Carrie to talk Co- to Justin? Oh, she hung up. God, people get. Oh my gosh. <laughs> people are oh, so excited. Uh, I'm not that cool. People, come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, four eight zero. Don't be shy. Call back. This is the first that's ever happened to us. I'm so sorry. I know, right? They're on All right. the truck with you. Um, six three zero. Go ahead. Hello. Hi. This is my call got dropped. This is Brittany. Oh, okay. Oh, hi. <laughs> you just want to tell Justin that that is the answer I was looking for because I think Lauren and Tyler would be kind of cute together. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, no. I figured. I figured. <laughs> Yeah, oh. we would be cute together, though. Yeah. All right, well, that's all I want to say. Oh, well, thanks, thanks. for calling back. <laughs> thanks, Brittany. Yeah, no problem. All right, bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, There's a, a person in the chat room, uh, Dejana, I think is how you say the name, and I hope I'm not messing it up. Can you ask Justin what his favorite song to sing is from his album? Oh, wow. Um, that's a good one. Let's see. Um, I have to say probably my favorite song on the album is Strange Ways. and um, But probably the most fun to sing live would be... Um, oh, man, that's hard. That's a hard question. <laughs> um, I don't know if Seasick is a, is a good one live because I like when people sing along. And mm-hmm. that's definitely a song that... Uh, a lot of people that come out to see us play know the lyrics too. And that's the best feeling ever when you can sit back on the mic and the crowd sings the song louder than you can. It's great. So probably Seasick and then my second favorite would be Strange Ways. 
Well, that's interesting that you said that, I'm, and I didn't know that beforehand, but that's two of the three songs that I chose. <laughs> oh, well, thanks. That's great. There we go. Yeah. All right, let's see here. Uh, I think the one called back. Let's try this again. 480, you're on with Justin. Hello? Hello? Yes. Hi. Hi, what's your name? Mariah. Hi, Mariah. Where are you calling from? Hi. Um, Mesa, Arizona. Mesa, Arizona. I was out there a couple of years ago recording, actually. <gasps> what? And you didn't call me? I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I should have. I don't know what I was thinking. You totally How are you surviving that. the heat out there right now? Um, well, I'm actually at work right now, so I'm inside, uh-huh. and I okay. actually have no idea what questions have already been asked, so I apologize in advance if I ask yeah. something right. again. So, me, me and my daughter, we started mm-hmm. watching Hollywood Heights from the mm-hmm. first day, and we were like, you know, two or three weeks into it, and we absolutely loved it. And then... Stupid Viacom took all the Nick channels away, and I can't watch it anymore. And you have to do something about this. (laughs) You know, we were hoping that they would fix the problem in the next week or so, um, which still could happen, but you can still watch it on iTunes, and you can watch it for free on Nickelodeon.com. Awesome. I'll have to do that. Um, But I apologize, and whoever is over there at DirecTV... I will I will get a hold of them and I'll tell them Mariah from Mesa needs it back. Yes, you yeah. do that. Leave a smack down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe I can't believe they've done that. I mean it's affected so many shows and so many people and it's just really caused the chaos. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Um my mom, same thing. My mom called me and she didn't know what the heck was going on. She's like, I can't watch the show anymore. I don't know what's going on. And I grew up way out in the middle of nowhere on a ranch, so we don't have, that's the only way to watch TV is from satellite. We don't even have the internet out there, so um, oh, no. I'm going to have to get her the DVDs when the show's over. Yeah. Yeah, send, send me one too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll call you next time out there, and I'll, I'll bring some DVDs. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Justin. Well, thank Take care. You. Bye-bye. 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 All right, let's see here. We got two, oops, let's see here, 276. Go ahead. Me? Hello. Yep, that's you. <laughs> oh, my gosh, I'm so excited. Um, my name's Shasta. I'm from Virginia. And Hi, I flew to California to watch one of your shows, one of your Bonnie Dune shows. It was so exciting. Oh, cool. And uh, all of my friends got to come. It was a blast. And I just wanted to ask, do you? I know that you've been doing the show, but do you know when your next Bonnie Doon show is going to be? I don't because before I booked the show, we actually were planning on doing a summer tour. And when I ended up booking the show, we had to cancel all our dates pretty much a week before we were going to tell everyone what shows we were playing. So the game plan was to do the tour and then come back in August and record. So now we're still still going to do the recording, and we kind of have to wait to see what happens till we get done with the new recording before we can start planning shows again. So it's, most likely we won't play again until either early um, the end of the year or so towards the end of the year or early next year, um, like right after January. So we will keep you posted. And um, I just got wrapped in the show now, so... Um, we will be getting back to music very shortly. Well, that's so exciting. Congratulations on the show. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for calling in. Thank you. <clears throat> You're welcome. Do you ever um, sing with Brittany and, and when Chris is around? You know Chris Alderson has a fantastic voice, too. Who, who is it? Do you ever <laughs> sing with Brittany? Underwood and with Chris Alderson when you guys are hanging out or you just hang out? No, um, there, there was a there was a scene coming up, or maybe it already happened. Yeah, her performance scene where she had to play guitar and sing at the same time. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. That was the only time where um, I was helping her learn the chords on the, on the guitar. Um, and also the first time I ever actually heard her sing live, and she has an amazing voice. But no, we've never... 
um, played music together. Um, actually, a lot of people on the show don't, don't even know that I'm in a band. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Wow. I I don't know. It's I guess it just doesn't come up. But um, yeah, um, no, we've never like played together. I'm not really a like a jammer. I don't really ever get together with random people and just you know jam out some songs. Um, well, gosh, I um, thought everybody in L.A. did that. <laughs> no, I'm, <kidding. laughs> I'm kind of one of those guys that sits in his living room in the dark at 2 in the morning and, and writes music. That's kind of my <laughs> my process. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, Are you um, ever sleeping and then all of a sudden sit up and you have to write a song? Yeah, a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Um, mostly lyrics, though. You'll wake up and be like, oh, and then you have to write it down so you don't forget it. I used yeah, to actually I'm, keep a, no, a notepad by my bed um, just in case that ever happened. Yeah, that's, I always uh, wonder how artists like that sleep because your mind seemed to be always going and working on something. Yeah, that's true. I mean, because of the workload on this show, I definitely have not had any problems sleeping. <laughs> but <Yeah. laughs> um, it has been something in the past that's been hard for me. Um, to get to sleep and I've tried everything but yeah when you're I don't know what it is about nighttime, but as soon as the sun goes down I feel like those creative juices just start to flow and um, that's kind of just like when it all happens that's why I feel like most musicians are vampires they're just nocturnal they sleep all day and then mm-hmm. stay up all night yeah but I think we got one last call that we can squeeze in here go ahead 740 hi Doug hi Pam this is Brandon. Hey, Brandon. Uh, Brandon. Oh, oh uh, my gosh. <laughs> he's finally called in. After 76 shows, he's finally called in. Thank you, Justin, for bringing out one of our fans. <laughs> oh, yeah. hey, Brandon. How's it going? Pretty good, pretty good. How are you? I'm good, thanks. So I was just wondering what it's like working with uh, Jill Farron Phelps. What do you think about Oh, I, I love Do you know Jill? Have you worked with Well, her? I just knew that. I was a huge General Hospital fan. I knew that she was the right. writer over there. Jill is like everybody's mom. She's um, she's amazing. Like every time you see her, I you just want to go, "Hey, mom!" <laughs> but uh, she's great. She's she you know she's the showrunner. She's the boss, and um, she is someone you could always talk to if you need someone to talk to. Um, she knows every storyline and nook and cranny better than anybody else and uh, I love working with her she's such a great person she's just a really nice person and always smiling and um, yeah I have to say she probably is one of the few people that works harder than, than cast members that's for sure awesome I just mm-hmm. had one last question you don't have to yeah. if you don't want to but okay. <laughs> what's your mm-hmm. how do you feel or what do you think is possible for a season two um, yeah, we kind of touched base on that a little bit. Mm-hmm. We we officially don't know yet. We haven't been told officially that it's not going to happen mm-hmm. or that it is going to happen. Um, but from what I understand, it's going to be something that we'll have to wait on um, for another couple weeks to, to really know um, if it's going to go or not. But um, it depends on how it does in the, in the foreign markets and how the show builds uh, in the next couple weeks or so because right now it's doing really well and the ratings were building and building every episode but because of the whole direct tv dropping all the viacom channels it's affected ratings a lot right. and not not for our not just for our show but for for every right. viacom mm-hmm. show. um because what I've, i'm not sure if this statistic is right or not but what someone on set told me the other day was um Viacom's ratings have gone down 52 percent since Direct oh, TV my gosh. Wow. has has wow. dropped, and that's wow. all their shows combined, and that's huge, 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 huge. Yeah. So either Viacom needs to step it up and pay more money, or Direct TV needs to. And Direct TV's ratings have gone down. I think 28 percent is what they said since mm-hmm. they dropped, which also is huge. So it's it's going to get picked up. Um, Back on Directv for sure. I just don't know when, and hopefully it's it's not going to be too late, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, but we'll see. I I'd be really excited to do another season, and I know a lot of the people would. So uh, we'll see. 
All right. All right. Well, thank you, Brandon, for calling in. It's nice to put yeah, a voice with your name. <laughs> That's All right. right. <laughs> I know. We've known him for six months now. That's great. Well, Justin, thank you so, so, so much for this. This was um, normally I'm a lot more talkative, but I'm kind of like starstruck myself, you know, so I'm a little <laughs> a little quiet than normal. And then I've already, all the girls screamed for me, so I don't have to scream. Yeah. So uh, uh, they took care of that for us. Um, but we'd love to invite you back in um, October after it's all over just so we can talk about the whole series itself and uh, yeah, catch up with it. what's going on with Bonnie Doon. So I definitely appreciate it. And if any listeners are listening, we're going to play a few songs from Bonnie Doon, and you can check them out, and we'll link link you to their iTunes uh, link as well in the chat room. So, uh, Pam, I'll let you say goodbye, and then we'll wrap it up. Okay. Well, I want to also thank you for joining us tonight. You're our second guest on our new show, and I can't oh, say yeah. – <laughs> I, I really had a blast talking with you. Um, you're sweet, you're funny, you're talented, and I only Thank wish you. you the best. Thanks, guys. Oh, and, and you have gorgeous out. eyes too. Yeah, yeah, you've got the be- you got the best eyes in Hollywood. So, uh, <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah, I, re- I really appreciate you guys having me on the show, and definitely stay in touch. And uh, let's get together again in October. Have some cocktails. Oh, that's that's even better. All right. Yeah, all right. Thanks a lot. Take take care. <laughs> Thank and, uh, you. We're working on getting Brittany and Cody on the show too, so we should be having them hopefully in August. So that'll That's be a lot good. of fun too. I'll talk. I'll talk to him as well. Yeah, just oh, tell them that we're that we're, that we're real people. That we're not uh, just some twelve year olds trying to get them on the show. We're real. <laughs> we're real <laughs> business people here. <laughs> no problem. So, um, yeah. All right. Thank um, you. All right. Take care, guys. All right. Talk to you Thank later. Thank you. Bye bye. You can get the EP now on iTunes. It's called The Lost EP, and as you heard in the interview, they're working on their new material, and uh, I cannot wait. So definitely check them out. You can follow them at Bonnie underscore Dune, D-U-N-E, and you can follow Justin as well at J underscore W-I-L-C-Z-Y-N-S-K-I. So definitely follow him and the band and keep up with them. And, you know, band member Corey Monteith as well. You can follow him as well as at Corey Monteith. Uh, it was a great show. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Let me do a quick rundown before we uh, end the show. Um, the next show that we have for the Tribute Series is going to be tomorrow night with actor, writer, director, producer, and uh, pretty gorgeous and easy on the eyes as well, Jonathan Sheck. He'll be with us. Uh, tomorrow night at 9 p.m. Then on Monday, we have Seth Peterson from Burn Notice. He plays Nate Weston on Burn Notice. And then we have, here we go, Owen Yeoman. Is that right? Is that right? You <laughs> now you expect me to say it when I'm laughing. Owen Yeoman. Owen Yeoman. Owen Yeoman. Okay, sorry. He 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 plays. Oh gosh, he plays Wayne Rigsby on uh, CBS as the Mentalist. Uh, so he'll be joining us on Tuesday, and then we're off for about five or six days, and then the Soap series returns, which is our our mothership show, uh, on Monday, July 30th, with three soap opera actors. It'll be a two-hour show. So if you're a soap opera fan, you don't want to miss this. We have Michael Maloney who wrote the autobiography. I'm sorry biography, because it's kind of hard to write an autobiography when you're not with us mm-hmm. anymore, so a biography of uh, William J. Bell, the, the creator of Young, Neurosis, and Bull and the Beautiful. And we also have Bonnie Forward, who's wrote a book about soap opera acting, the ins and outs of drama, daytime drama, and also uh, makeup artist and makeup special effects director uh, from One Life to Live and All My Children, all my children uh, Norman Brin will be with us, so don't miss that. And then Tuesday the 31st, we have uh, definitely we have Tina Sloan who played Lillian Rains, but we're working on getting Beth Chamberlain who played her on-screen daughter Beth Rains. So you definitely don't want to miss that. And uh, yeah, we'll 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 book anybody that has an accent. We uh, we're really right. uh, Pam and I are really big on accents. So you can be a librarian, and just as long as you talk cool like that, then you can come on and just talk about you whatever. You can be on our we, show. You can be on our show. So if you have an accent, call in and talk to us. <laughs> We'll just do a show for accent people, so we'll contact everybody from all the different <laughs> that would places. Be good. <laughs> yeah, that's why I can't wait till we get Daniel Goddard on. You know, he's he's got that Australian accent. I just can't wait to talk yeah. to him. If we, you know, if we ever have a chance to get to to get that to get him on. Um, coming up in August, we've got a we're, we're working on a few people here. Uh, let me see. Let me pull this up so I can uh, uh, put it in the chat room as well. Uh, we got Mig Ayesa. Uh, Stacy Francis and Audrey Landers, if you don't know who they are, 
Uh, Audrey Landers played Afton on the original Dallas. Uh, Stacey Francis is from the, the X Factor US season one. Uh, she has a single out called Purple Rain, which is a remake of Prince's the famous song. And then Mig Ayesa will be with us, uh, too in August. He is from, he's on Broadway currently in the role of Stacey Jacks of Rock of Ages, also live in UK with Thriller Live. And then uh, also he was uh, first well-known from his uh, appearance on the reality show CBS uh, Rockstar in Excess, Season 1. So he'll be with us as well. Um, we're working on uh, some other big names for the soap series, and once we get the dates for those, we will be able to let you know. So definitely follow us at the soap series and at tribute series. Uh, make sure you do uh, – the in front of soap series and no the in front of tribute series. So it would just be the, I mean, the soap series and at tribute series. Uh, tonight I wasn't my normal self because I was a little starstruck. I'm, you know, I've got a, I've got a, uh, I was just a little held back tonight. So, uh, to see me in my typical glory, check out all of our shows so far on the tribute series dot, uh, net and the soap series dot com. We've had over 65, 70 interviews so far. If you want anybody from daytime or prime time or any artist on our show, uh, just go ahead and tweet them and invite them. Just say, hey, we would like to see you on this show, blah, 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 and let them know. Uh, so thank you so much for everybody for jo joining us. We're going to close out for tonight. We'll be back with Jonathan Sheck and, um, uh, yeah, they, uh, site advocate just says, can we get a whoop whoop for Doug and Pam? <laughs> well, whoop, well, whoop whoop. There we go. Uh, thank you so much, Pam. Thank you so much for being with us tonight. Uh, well, be with us, of course. <laughs> be yeah. with us. How many per Oh, God, here we go with the personalities. Uh, thank yeah. you for being with me tonight. <laughs> I don't know how many people were actually with us tonight inside my brain. So thank you. And don't forget, Hollywood Heights is on at Nick at Night every night at 9 p.m. Eastern. Don't miss it. Uh, we got all the way until October, so we have another long haul to go. And as he was saying, Justin was saying, some great juicy twists and turns are coming. I can't wait. So you can also follow the official uh, Hollywood Heights at HH Buzz and to get all the latest and greatest from there as well. So thank you very much for tuning in and we will be back tomorrow. Bye Pam. Yep. Say say good night. Say good, night. Good, night good night everybody. Good night everybody. <laughs> we'll be back. Bye bye. Now Have Dan. Bye bye. Blog Talk Radio, where millions of hosts and listeners gather.